The conic horse, also known as the Polish primitive horse or simply conic, is a small, hardy breed of horse that originated in Poland. They are a semi-feral breed, meaning that they are free roaming but still under human management and care. These horses are believed to be the closest living relatives to the now extinct wild horses that once roamed Europe. In this video, we will explore the history, behavior, and current status of the conic horse. Conic horses are usually around 12 to 14 hands, or 48 to 56 inches tall, as the wither and weight around 440 to 660 pounds. They have a sturdy build with short, strong legs and a thick, coarse coat that is usually a shade of dun or bay with primitive markings, such as a dorsal stripe and leg stripes. These horses live in small herds led by a dominant stallion. They communicate with each other by using body language, vocalizations, and scent marking. Some researchers claim these foundation animals were hybrids with wild horse breeding that had been sold to farmers by the zoo in Zamosk, Poland in 1806 which were bred to local domesticated draft horses. However, genetic studies now contradict the view that the conic is a surviving form of Eastern European wild horse, commonly called the tarpan, nor is it closely related to them. The conic shares mitochondrial DNA with many other domesticated horse breeds, and their Y DNA is nearly identical. Conic horses are well suited to surviving in harsh environments with limited resources. They are hardy and adaptable, able to thrive in a range of climates and terrain types. They are social animals that typically live in herds and have a hierarchical social structure. In their natural environment, they graze on a variety of grasses and other vegetation and are able to survive on limited water sources. The conic horse has a long and fascinating history, including its use in war and transportation. During World War I, the conic horse was used by the German army for transportation and as pack animals. The horses were prized for their hardiness and strength and were able to carry heavy loads over long distances. However, conic horses were almost extinct by the end of World War II. In 1936, Tedus Vetalani, an agriculturalist from Krakow, opened a conic reserve in the Balawizan forest. He was convinced that if horses were exposed to natural conditions, they would redevelop their original phenotype. While Vetalani's experiments are well known and widely publicized, his stock actually had only a minor influence on the modern conic population. World War II marked the end of Vetalani's breeding back project. Part of his stock was moved to Popolino, where they continued to live in semi-feral conditions. Popilno became the breed's main stud during the 1950s, but the herd was also preserved by buying animals from Germany. Between the two world wars, the German brothers Heinz and Lutz Heck crossed stallions with Polaski's horse with mares of the conic horse, as well as mares of other breeds such as the Dolman Pony, Gotland Pony, and the Icelandic horse, to create a breed resembling their understanding of the Tarpan phenotype. The result is called the Heck Horse. Other breeders crossed conics with Anglo-Arabians or the Thoroughbred to increase their quality as a riding horse. Conics today are bred either in barns or open reserves and under human guidance. The conic was bred for a larger shoulder height in past decades to improve its value as a working horse. A more graceful appearance, especially of the head, was established as well. Black and sorrel horses have been largely selected out, but still appear on occasion, as do white markings. In Poland, conics currently live on nature reserves at Poplino, Rostogze National Park, Stabnica Research Station of the University of Life Sciences in Poznan. 
They are bred in controlled conditions as a state stud at Poplino, Sierra Alcau. Private breeders currently own 310 mares and 90 stallions. The state studs own 120 mares and 50 stallions. As it claimed to phenotypically resemble the extinct tarpan, the conic has also been introduced into nature reserves in other nations. The Netherlands has multiple natural reserves spread over the country with feral conic horses. One of the first places where the conic horse was introduced was the Osvarder Splossen Reserve, where the biggest herd of free-ranging feral conic horses lives in the world. In 1983, 20 conic horses were introduced in the reserve. The population increased rapidly and at a faster rate than was expected. The horses in the reserve are feral and by Dutch law it is prohibited to feed them or interfere in their population size. In 2011, the herd consisted of 1,150 conic horses, and in November 2017, this number reduced to 1,050 horses. While the area of the reserve is meant for a maximum population of approximately 300 horses in order for the natural reserve to provide the horses with enough food. This overpopulation and harsh winters led to the starvation and death of many horses in the reserve. With a peak of 30% of the population in the winter of 2012 to 2013. The Dutch citizens were outraged by the neglecting approach of Staatsbosbeheer and a debate about possible alterations of the laws on interference with feral animal populations in Dutch reserves started. In 2019, a few hundred horses got transported to reserves in Spain and Belarus. However, the population still continues to increase. And as of October 2020, the ost Blossom Reserve was home to 540 conic horses, while there are no other reserves left to transport the horses to. In order to control the population size, the province of Flevoland is considering administering anti-conception to the conic horses. Furthermore, around 200 conic horses were brought to slaughter in 2021. Despite the controversy surrounding their management, the conic horses in the Osvardersplossen remain a vital part of the ecosystem. They help to control vegetation growth provide food for predators, and contribute to the overall health of the reserve. Efforts are being made to find a sustainable solution to the management of the reserve, one that will ensure the survival of the conic horse and other wildlife in the area. By working together and exploring different management strategies, we can help to preserve this magnificent breed of wild horse for future generations. For the conic horse, the wild is their home and their spirit remains untamed.